everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen and today is episode one of my Halloween spooky season occult houses. <laughs> that was uh, that was quite an intro there but yes. Uh, anyways I am building uh, each of the different occults. I'm building a different house for all of them from spellcasters which is obviously this one and vampires and werewolves aliens mermaids all of those so that is five weeks of a different occult house and I will be doing that for this whole spooky season and the idea was to do one occult video per week up until Halloween but I'm I'm running out of weeks here guys <laughs> So the last week I will be doing two occults and that should get us all caught up by Halloween. And so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be so fun. I'm not an occult builder. I'm not an occult player very often, but when I do, my favorite occult to play, believe it or not, are spellcasters. I don't know if that's because they're well done or not. Probably not so much that. <laughs> I feel like they could have been a lot better, but just witches in general are my favorite occult. And so of course that I'm naturally going to want to play that in The Sims. And so I figured why not start this whole thing off with building my favorite one. And that is spellcasters. So this is obviously a spellcaster's house and it is for a family. Um, it actually would be considered a mansion, I believe. This is a huge house. There was in total seven bedrooms and like six bathrooms, I think. There's a huge kitchen, uh, the living room, obviously, a huge dining room, and yeah, there, there's a lot going on here. So this, you know, if I didn't say it already, <laughs> go get a snack and like a drink and sit on the couch and relax. This is going to be a lengthy video. Um, I haven't done a video this long in quite a while. I usually keep it, I try to keep it at like 20 or 30 minutes just because it makes the editing and voiceover process shorter and just the building of the house shorter too. Uh, it usually takes me less than a day to, which is a long time in of itself, so I'm not gonna lie, but it takes me as about a day, less than a day at some point, could be four hours, could be six, could be eight, depending at the pace that I'm going um, for like a 20 to 30 minute video. But when I do these longer ones, 45 minutes plus, um, I, I think I've done like an hour before, they're usually quite a long build. Um, that has taken me a few days to do. Now that's that's not a few days straight. I do, you know, work and I take breaks here and there in between me building the house, but overall, yeah, off and on it took me a few days to build this house, I'm not gonna lie. There was just so much to it and I really was having fun with it also. Uh, towards the end, I got a little bit uh, like, not fed up, but I, I'm just like, okay, I'm over it at this point. <laughs> I'm ready to build something else. And so the last couple of rooms you'll probably see are not as decorated as I was doing the house in the very beginning, but they're still decorated enough. I mean, there were bedrooms. And so most of the time, I think you guys usually redo the bedrooms anyways, if not all of the furniture in the house. But as far as the outside of this house goes, I, I am really happy with the outside of this house. I was wondering if I made this part of the house too big, like with this little octagon, hexagon, I don't, I don't know which one it is guys. I think it's an octagon. I, that's totally an oxygon. So oxygons have, they have eight sides. So that's definitely an oxygon. I feel like I might have made that a little bit too big. I was wondering, but once I decorated the inside of it, um, I really liked the way that it looked. So I kept the size of it. I did not want to make it smaller. And so, I mean, 
At first it looked a little bit off, in my opinion, like from one side of this house to the other because of how like large that octagon section is. But then I ended up moving it over, I like shifted the whole lot over and I was able to add a second addition to the house over here. Like it's not a huge addition. I wish I could have made it a little bit bigger but it turned out to be enough to give that other side of the house something more than just blank walls. And so I added like an addition to the bottom story of the house and then for the roof, I just made it a little balcony area. So it's right on the second story is a little balcony area. I wanted to do something cool with this area, but it turned out to be so small that I could not fit really anything on there and so I ended up just putting like a telescope and then up on the very top of the house, the top story, the roof basically. I wanted to do something cool up there too but I was running out of ideas <laughs> and by the end of this build I was ready for it just to be over and so I ended up just putting a telescope up on the roof as well but you are able to get up to that roof and use that telescope that I put up there I almost put a cauldron up there but we already had two cauldrons in two of the other bedrooms of the house and so I figured it didn't really need it but it would be so fun for like you guys like as a, a little project to do whatever you wanted to do up on the roof of this house. Like if you want to make it a little like magic area where like your sims can use the cauldron and there's plants all around them and maybe some crystals and make it like a fun little area for your witches then that would be like so cool and I wouldn't mind if you guys did that then repost it on the gallery and tag me in it and I would be interested to see it. I mean, you definitely don't have to. <laughs> um, this is just if, if you want to, it just sounds fun for me to see how you guys would decorate the roof. But this area right here, I wanted to do something different with the pathway other than just a straight line. And so I ended up using the curved platform pieces and made like a little curved pathway. And I think it turned out super cute. And then I'm just putting more bushes around. I'm really making, I'm trying to make this like really almost, almost whimsical looking. I mean, I'm not sure if I achieved that at the end of the day, but I didn't want it to be too many colors. I wanted to stick with just like one color. I have the purple color up on the window boxes and then the flowers down here, the hydrangeas, I ended up keeping as a white. So all of the bright white flowers mixed with the green bushes, I think it gave it I don't know, I don't know if whimsical is the word, but it gave it almost a magical feeling, um, if that's the right word, but I really liked the aesthetic that it gave and so I ended up just keeping the white and the green flowers. And so we are over into the back now. Um, there's, there's not anything special about the back. I, at first, I was not going to add a pool. But then I ended up doing the backyard and I went back and forth on what I wanted to do. If I just wanted to make it like a really pretty gardeny area or if I wanted to add a pool for the Sims. And I ended up doing that. I ended up adding a pool. However, it is like a super duper small pool. And so you guys will see that in a little bit once we are back outside. I decided to come inside and try to figure out this floor plan. I, it was such a big area. I did not know what I wanted to do with the inside of this at all. I knew it was obviously going to be a mansion because of just the size, <laughs> but I didn't know, like, I wanted to give it like this nice entryway, almost, almost like a grand entryway. I don't know if it's that big to call it grand, but it is a really nice entranceway and I made it, I cut it out all the way to the top story and you'll see that here in a little bit. So this is the second story and it's cut out a little bit and I end up putting a chandelier up on the third story and the parents room by the way is actually up on the third story. It's almost like a loft esque area and they have like a the cutout area to be able to see down into the front of the house where the front door is and that's where I put the chandelier and I really like the way that I was able to do this room as you can see it took a little bit of finagling I 
had no idea what was going on with this roof piece. Usually I'm able to make the roof pieces go away and I think I did achieve it there for a little bit, but it ended up coming back and so I ended up just having to change the outside of the house just a tiny little bit and I adjusted the roof piece to not go all the way inside of the wall and that wasn't ideal for the looks on the outside. But it was such a minor change that I ended up keeping it so it it doesn't look as good on the outside as it does on the inside. And I think it's more important to make the outside look better just because I, I don't know, that's just my personal opinion. I always just try to make the outside look as good as possible. Maybe because that's like the first thing people see. But I ended up doing the opposite this time and just, I wanted to make this inside really good. I, and that roof piece was just not it. it. It was bugging the crap out of me and it was either there had to be floor there and then the roof piece went away or you had to have the roof piece there with no floor. And so it just was aggravating me, but I was able to figure it out. I just did that little, uh, I put the roof piece on the outside so that it wasn't on the inside. Um, so at the end of the day, I was happy that I was able to achieve what exactly I was trying to achieve. It took a little bit of time. <laughs> it took a little bit of back and forth, but it, it got there in the end. But so I ended up having the staircases there's two staircases there and one goes to one side and then one goes to the other side of the hallway and I just wanted like a cool little, there's no reason behind it, <laughs> there, I mean at all, like it might not make sense to you guys, but I thought it looked really cool and I thought it made sense for spellcasters to have like that really cool grand entryway and so I was happy with the way the entryway turned out in the end. It. It took some time, but it was it was worth it. <laughs> and I'm adding some more windows over on this like octagon portion of the house, like the little tower portion. And I think it turned out so much better by adding those extra windows. As many windows as I could fit on there, I fit on there. And I thought it made it look so cool on the inside as well as the outside. And I put a chandelier on the very top of the tower and I actually made the bottom story tower um, part of the grandma or it's actually I was thinking a grandpa part of the grandpa's bedroom and then up on the second story I made it the teenager's bedroom so I did make it two separate um, like layouts for the bedrooms though I hate when you go from one floor to the next floor and it's like the same exact furniture in the same exact place. It just doesn't look detailed enough to me. And so I make it a point for me to just make the bedrooms look different as differently as possible anyways. I try to make like the beds facing different directions. I do different colors, different themes of the bedrooms, different locations typically. I mean, obviously they're different locations, but I mean from like the bottom story to the top story sort of thing, you know? Uh, but now we are doing the floor plan on the bottom and it definitely took me some time. Uh, this floor plan, was not too easy to put together, as you can probably see. I went back and forth so many times of how I wanted to design this floor plan. I thought I wanted that little like octagon area to be the dining room at first, but then I quickly realized if this is a mansion, there's like eight Sims that are supposed to live at this house, that little octagon area is not gonna be enough for a dining room table. And then I was like, maybe that could be like the breakfast nug off the kitchen. And I went back and forth so many times. And so I ended up just putting down furniture as I made the floor plan just so it was a little bit easier for me to decide where I wanted to put what. So I ended up putting the dining room table there and now I'm just adding like different doors of the bedrooms and just trying to get a feel of what is going to be where. And so the kitchen of this house, I do have to say, I think it turned out like really good. I was really happy with the kitchen and you'll see here in a little bit once I start on the kitchen, this area over here, I had no idea what I wanted to do in that area. It ended up being the grandpa's bedroom, but I had so many ideas going back and forth of what it could be. And I don't even remember half of what I thought it could be. <laughs> 
Um, I, I just thought of so many different things and yeah, I just had to make it a bedroom in the end. It just made the most sense and I had so many things in other places. And I don't think I mentioned this yet, I don't know why, but this is only base game and Realm of Magic. I'm not using any other packs in this build at all. I mean, you guys might have noticed that already just by, I mean, looking at the exterior. I, there is no other packs. You can totally tell if you know the different packs and you know exactly what's in other packs and you know what's in base game and what's not in base game, then you probably realize this is a pack restricted build. And so I'm actually doing that with every single occult residential builds I'm doing in this little mini series. And so it's only going to be the base game and whatever occult pack that I'm using. And so with that being said, since it's only base game and realm of magic, I ran out of ideas of how to like design the interior. Uh, I, there was a lot of stuff that I was reusing. And I hate reusing things, but you just have to do what you have to do when it turns out uh, when you use these pack restricted builds. Uh, it's hard not to use the same thing over and over again, but I do the best I can not to do that. And so, yeah, <laughs> just remember that. If you see me using some of the same stuff, just remember that. And this stinking ladder right here, I, it was so important for me to get on that roof of this house. And to get to that roof, I had to put a ladder in that little mini room up here upstairs. And in order for me to do that, I had to have the ladder flat out in the middle of the little loft area. It's not ideal. And it's right there in front of that front window too. It's definitely not ideal. Um, I really tried a lot of different ways to make it work some other way, but that's just, that's what we had to do guys. And so I hope it doesn't annoy you as bad as it was was annoying me but I just had to do it in the end and so we are over to the kitchen and like I said I really like the way that I designed this kitchen it turned out so good I do change this color I don't I was trying to do something different with this red and this black wood but I was going for more of a purple and black interior and it just wasn't looking good in the end but i ended up putting like some uh what do you call those well they're it's the columns and then the awning at the not awning but that little like the spandrel at the top and then i put rounded counters and some stools and stuff and i think it turned out so good and i changed the color to gray and black and it just matches better this red is just too much it stands out too much it wasn't going for this house maybe if i did like a vampire's house this would make more sense but i am not liking the way it's looking right now i'm so glad that i ended up changing the color from this over to the gray uh you guys will see that here in a little bit and you'll probably agree with me but i these windows i wanted to do some of the stained glass like purple windows but it just was not it, it didn't look too good and so I ended up doing like the spider webbed esque windows. I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to be is spider webs, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. And I'm using this rug here in the entranceway and I think this rug was made to do something like this. It was obviously made for hallways and putting it in this room I think it turned out so good. And I just love that entranceway. I don't do entranceways like that very often at all. Like I do the bare minimum when it comes to entranceways. <laughs> I usually just put the staircase in there and like call it a day, but I worked so hard trying to make that entranceway look good. And I think it looks just really good. And I add more stuff in there in a little bit. I, it's just such a big house, like I was saying earlier guys, and I was getting a little bit overwhelmed. And so I just wanted to place everything where it's gonna be almost like a placeholder and it helped me to just not feel too overwhelmed while decorating the inside and this in here the whole floor also changes this whole cherry wood with the black the whole thing changes not just the kitchen this in here looks god awful too i end up just making it more gray and black it's you guys might think it's a little bit too much black but 
I think it turned out better than how it looks right now. There's something with this black and the red that's just not looking right to me. And so I end up changing the floor. It's either to black wood or it's to gray. I can't remember 100%, but either way it looks a lot better and it brings all the colors together a lot more. And it matches with like the little purple accents that I put here and there. You know, I cannot stand these couches that came with Realm of Magic. I think those are so ugly, to be honest. I I had to use them. I'm trying to use as many items from the packs as possible. And so I had to use those god-awful couches. And I'm going to have to do the same thing in all of the other packs. <laughs> um, Realm or not Realm of Magic. This is Realm of Magic. But uh, get to work with the aliens. I don't think that would be too hard. I don't know. I'm not good at making homes for aliens. I don't think I ever have made a home for an alien that wasn't just a regular, typical suburban house. Almost like the Smith family in The Sims 2. You know, like, Paul Nation Technician is a an alien, obviously, but he's living like a perfectly good human, like, the American dream type of life <laughs> and I think that is so funny I used to love that family in the sims too and I actually on my gallery I have uh the smith family I remade them and I have their version of how I think they would be in the sims 4 up on my gallery and I made a house for them it doesn't look like their sims 2 version house whatsoever it's more of just my type of suburban house I did keep the yellow color and I put like pictures of them in the house and so it, it's a fun build you guys should totally go check it out if you're a sims 2 fan and you love the smith family and you want to go see some more like sims 4 versions of that family then totally go check it out on my gallery and so i at this point have realized just what i got myself into i mean i knew it all along don't get me wrong i knew how big of a build this was but um I'm, I'm really feeling it at this moment. I'm like, oh gosh, what am I going to do where? How many bedrooms do I even have to fill? What Sims am I gonna put in those bedrooms? And so here in just a little bit, you'll see me just start adding beds. Like right now, I'm adding beds. This ends up being the teenager's room and I this is like my favorite room of the house, actually. I love the way this room turned out. And I remember having a lot of fun making this room too. I went back and forth on like the bed that I wanted to use. I knew the color scheme had to be black and purple. This is for a teen girl I was thinking and she's really into potion making. That is her like chosen path when it comes to magic and she has just gotten into learning her skills once she turned into a teenager that is when she was able to get full access to her powers. She grew up, obviously, this is a family of spellcasters. Like, there is no secret. Um, this isn't like teenage uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, where she didn't know she was a witch until, like, she became a teenager. Uh, she totally knew it from a young age, pretty much from, like, infanthood. Like, she knew her family was different. And she's always been into like potion making. Her grandpa, actually, he has the room downstairs. Her grandpa is a potion maker and she has learned a lot of different things from him. And she knows a bunch of different recipes already. And she's just really, really close with her grandpa. They have a lot in common. She has looked up to him since she was a young girl, like from a young age. She just used to watch him making his different potions and she would ask so many different questions and he'd be really patient with her and explain each different ingredient and why to use certain things and why not to use certain things. And if you mess up and make the wrong potion, he explains to her what exactly can happen. <laughs> and so she's learned from a young age that this is no joke. This is nothing to take lightly. Like you have to take this so seriously when you use your spells and your magic powers and stuff and she definitely doesn't not take it for granted either uh but she's she's very very thankful for her family and her gift that her and her family has and she's also really into painting so i tried to give each of these sims 
a different personality with their room and you probably can see it a little bit in this teenager's room uh, like I was saying she's really into potion making and so I'm trying to keep that true with her personality of like different decoration items in her room and I added candles everywhere I added like pictures on the wall that had like butterflies and different like insects and stuff and I also put a magical wand in her room as well and one of the orbs I don't remember which orb she had but just one of the orbs that comes with uh, the realm of magic and this is the parents room so they have I think they have like one of the coolest rooms in the house the teenager has like really cool decorations in her room and she has like that cool little like area where her bed is the octagon like tower room <laughs> um, and then she has like an open ceiling that has the chandelier. She has a really cool room too. She probably has like my ultimate favorite one. Oh, and then I, I come back and I end up adding some potions into this like little chest cabinet and stuff. But the parents, I guess I would say they would have the second best room in the house. I just really like the loft area that they have up there and they have their own bathroom. And of course that little area that is like that balcony area where they can look down and see like the front door and stuff. Like it's a really cool bedroom. It's set up pretty cool. Um, I'll get more into like their personalities and stuff once I get back up there and finish decorating their house. Or not their house, but their room. Um, I remember kind of jumping back and forth in this build. I tend to do that with these bigger builds. It's just, like I said, it's it's kind of overwhelming. And so I just place things in different uh, areas. And then once I feel a connection to one of the rooms, like I did with the teenager's room, I'll just go out and finish that room all together. I, I just finished decorating it. And then I'll proceed just putting random furniture in random places and trying to figure out what is going to be where. And so now we jumped back outside. I really did not know what I wanted to do with this outside area like I was telling you guys earlier. I almost did like just a little pathway over here but it just was not looking right. And so about now is when I'm like, you know what, let me see if I can add a pool here. And I actually was able to add like a small one. It's not huge whatsoever. It's quite tiny, but it's enough for this family to have like some fun in the sun. Uh, what little sun is actually here? I think this is quite an overcast town, but they don't mind it. They'll swim in overcast too. That's actually fun fact that's when you get burnt the most in the sun. I would know. I, I'm quite pale and every time I go to the beach for the first time in the summer, I get so sunburnt. <laughs> but then I'm usually good for the rest of the summer and then I don't have to worry as much. I mean, I obviously always keep my sunscreen on, but even with sunscreen on, that first just beach trip of the summer just, it gets me every time. But um, yeah, <laughs> anyways. I am finishing the backyard, putting the different um, flowers in different locations. I wanted to put those monkey bars somewhere so bad, but I ran out of space. And so I ended up just making this like a little garden area and it turned out super cute. I figured uh, the mom that lives in this house as well as grandpa, they both really love gardening. Mom just loves it as uh, she just you know it's her passion it's something that helps her relax and she loves being out in the sun or the overcast like you know we were just discussing but she loves being outside just in nature and gardening and watering her plants and vegetables herbs all of that and the grandpa in this house is her dad actually he just loves it because he can put his homegrown like herbs in his potions that he makes and he will be the first to tell you that potions made with natural ingredients are always the best and he has really good gardening skills too he actually teaches his daughter a lot when they garden together they do that pretty much on a daily basis i mean if you don't go out there every day and harvest and water then they're not gonna do very well. <laughs> but their garden does great and they have some apple trees and they have a bunch of different things. But as far as what I did when I uploaded this house to the gallery, I did not add any any plants at all to these garden beds. It's, it's literally just the blank garden bed. So I just wanted to uh, make that clear. <laughs> That's just part of the storyline that I was going with. 
but now I'm just adding some terrain paint around like this this house and I'm trying to make it look really nice and pretty and different layers of terrain paint I started off with the terrain paint that's kind of like grass with dirt it's almost like dying grass I I was thinking it's mixed with like soil and grass together and so I started off with that and then I got like the darker just soil and I layered the top layer with that and then I added some of the different like weed terrain paints around and now I am adding these garden path stones. I kind of thought adding these would be so much better than just just leaving it like grass and then adding like some other terrain paint that looked like dirt. Um, this just add, makes it look magical. It, it makes it look a lot better and then I realized I had no trash can anywhere and so I pulled that out and I was looking for a little area to put it and I ended up putting it just next to at this point it's next to the staircase but I think I end up moving it over to like the side where that bench is over there uh, we'll, we'll find out together here in just a minute and there I was just not giving up on that set of monkey bars <laughs> I just really wanted to make those work and they were not working whatsoever they just did not fit uh, there is a child that lives here and then a couple there's like a toddler and or it's an infant and a newborn I believe and then here I am just finally deciding to move that trash can over to the other side where that other bench was and now we are back inside and I'm just adding some different decorations I realized that there are in fact pillows in the base game now and so I ended up grabbing these pillows and they're from that last like not it's it was like the Reaper rewards but it actually worked first of all it's not broken like the Reaper rewards are and it was just the one where you just had to log in every day and you got different rewards um, every few days for logging in and so those pillows was from that so if you did not do that then you probably won't have those pillows but I mean the couch will still be there the pillows just won't be there I figured I could use them and you know if you don't have them they just won't be there and I added like some purple and gray and black ones just trying to keep true to the design of the house and I did end up putting a purple rug there in the living room too and I I kind of thought it looked good at first but uh, there's just something off about it. I think it's just too bright purple. It's too much of an accent and everything else just is like super black and gray and white and so that purple just kind of stood out too much um, and then I end up changing the purple in that one bathroom that's there as well. I figured that could be grandpa's bathroom. At first this was going to be grandma and so I put pink in the bathroom but then as I was making this room I'm like this looks more of like a grandpa's room and I thought I liked the idea of it being a grandpa instead. I think I do grandma quite often and so grandpa was like a nice change and I'm using like blues and grays and this looks a lot like a warlock's room how I would kind of think of a warlock's room to be and so grandpa is a warlock obviously um I think all of the guys in this house are warlocks <laughs> um but he embraces that he has loved his life of growing up with the powers that he has and the ancestry that he has and just he has had a great time learning all of the different magic types and he does some spell casting but he mainly is a potion maker and he is on his life mission is to make that resurrection potion and he not resurrection but um he his life mission is to make the immortality potion he does not want his life to come to an end he would love to live forever and give his whole family the same immortality potion just so that they can live their happy lives forever um, there will never be an end to their life so that is his lifelong goal he is you know he's an elder so he's not far from it being the end and so he really needs to pick up the pace and try to figure out the recipe for the immortality potion 
and he does he's very very close to figuring out what the resurrection potion is he would really love to resurrect the love of his life the wife that he had his whole life for the whole 70 years before she ended up passing away not too long ago and this is you know the grandmother of the children that live at this house and the mother of this house it is her mom and so everyone is really on board with him making the resurrection potion and the immortality potion and so he works day in and day out trying to figure this stuff out and so hopefully you guys you know if you download this house off the gallery and you make your own family and you like the storyline that I'm giving then hopefully you're able to help grandpa figure out what that recipe is so that is pretty much it for the grandpa's room just a simple you know room it really fits the grandpa vibes I feel like <laughs> and then I also added before I cut it out right there I also added a couple of flower pots in there and I figured the really important herbs and flowers that he uses all the time are in that room that he can just harvest every single day no matter what season it is and then I cut out the area where I was doing a couple of the other bathrooms it's just literally the same thing in every single bathroom um, one might have a shower and the other one might have a tub but for the most part the bathrooms are all the same I figured you guys didn't have to see every bathroom in this house there's like six of them and yeah so I just cut out a couple of them and we're back in the kitchen I'm just adding some different decoration items um, oh I came across that picture I thought went really well in the teen teens room and so I ended up pulling that out and taking off that realm of magic one that I'm using in every single room <laughs> and just place that solar system one in there instead it, it really it fit a lot it was like purple and like gray and black and stuff it looked really good it fit that room perfect and so now we're just back downstairs I I didn't add too many things to this kitchen just a few things and I ended up putting that vase with the flowers right there I figured that looks like maybe dad on his way home from work picked up some flowers for for mom and I thought that was a really cute idea and I'm just adding some different lights as well I really did not know what lights I wanted to put in this house I went back and forth on what lights I wanted to do I almost did just the black flat lights everywhere and I do think I did that in most of the house uh, those little like $50 like those cheap little circular ones but some of the rooms I wanted to put some nice lights and so I ended up putting it was like some base game light it looks like an outside light to be honest but it looked it was the only thing that fit in that kitchen and dining room so I ended up putting that there instead and so here I'm just adding more decorations in this front entryway just pictures on both sides and those pictures above the staircase I kind of thought those were the ancestors of the family that live here maybe that's like grandma and grandpa or something and or great great grandma and grandpa one of the ancestors it it doesn't really matter who <laughs> um, that was just like my train of thought and I also cut out some of the walls that I just put there was nothing in there I just blocked them off because I didn't know what to do it was just like one single like tile and so I ended up opening that wall and I put a bookcase in there instead and I thought it turned out pretty cool I really liked the look of it um, my motto for building this house was when in doubt put a bookcase <laughs> um, I know that does not rhyme whatsoever I think it's supposed to rhyme but that's just what I was going with and honestly it worked um, there's plenty of bookcases in this house but it fills up the space so much better and it makes it look a little bit busier and I kind of figured a witch's house especially with a big family living there would have kind of a lot of like cluttery areas and so I was happy with it and I did the same thing right there I ended up putting a bookcase um, two bookcases next to each other right off of that hallway that's there and it added a little bit extra something that was needed and I did not know what to put in that little area I almost made those two exact hallways but I did away with that idea it was too samey it needed to be different 
And so this hallway over here, uh, right in front of this balcony door, um, there I was again trying to do the monkey bars. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm like addicted to those monkey bars. I need to quit trying to make those monkey bars a thing. Um, they're not going to happen. Okay, so just just stop. But um, I ended up putting a chess table there in that hallway that's right on the other side of this balcony that's here. And I am trying for the life of me to figure out what to put on this balcony. And I just had to give up. I, I couldn't spend any more time on this than I already have. And I figured if you guys don't like my telescope idea on the balcony, if it's too boring, then you could totally put whatever you want on that balcony. You could put flowers out there, you could put chairs. Um, if you have some other packs other than the base game and Realm of Magic, maybe you could put, um, I don't know, a gaming table. I don't think the ping pong table will fit out there. There's something you could put out there and I'm sure it would look great, but I ended up just putting the telescope out there. Uh, but we are back inside now that I finally gave up on the balcony out there. <laughs> and I'm doing the one and only bathroom on the second story. There is, yes, only one bathroom. All the other bathrooms are downstairs. And then the parents upstairs on the third story have their own bathroom. And it is a total of six though. So there is definitely not a shortage of bathrooms in this house. Just most of the people are gonna have to go downstairs. And this is the child's bedroom. I had no idea what I wanted to do in this bedroom, what kind of personality I wanted to give this kid, but he is also embracing his warlock um, abilities. He really loves working on that mental table. That is like his favorite activity is to build his mental skill. And he also loves to read books and he's really practicing for when he turns into a teenager, which will be here shortly. It's not far. Um, he's really working on his skills to be able to be the best warlock he can be when he's older. As soon as he turns into a teenager, he's going to start practicing his practical magic. That's what he's really interested in studying. And he is so looking forward to it. His, you know, favorite color obviously is green. His whole room is green. <laughs> and I got that like Sim the Plum Bob light. And I thought it fit him. And then I put like a frog in there and then the mental table, of course, and just a plant just for some decoration. I did not put a TV in here for him, I don't believe. But I did try to fit as many children activities in here as I could since I could not put the monkey bars outside. I wanted to put as many indoor activities in here as possible. And honestly, I don't really think he's really uh, much of a physical activity kid as much as he is mental. So it probably makes sense for there not to be a monkey bar set. And now we are actually over into the infant's room. This is a very pink room. This is a light color room. This is pro this is the lightest room in the house. There's no probably about it. This is the lightest room in the house. This one, as well as the nursery that I have the, in um, the newborn in, I almost said infant, but the newborn. Um, I really had no idea how I wanted to design this room whatsoever. I went back and forth with a couple of ideas, but I ended up keeping these bookcases on each side of the crib. And then I ended up pulling out these bows and I colored them blue, the pink blue, uh, not pink blue, the blue bows. And this is kind of like a pinkish blue, like theme in this room. And I thought it looked really almost princessy in a way. and magical I was going for magical and so it kind of fits it and I added some like bows on the outside of the crib I thought that was such a cute idea I have not thought of that until now I wanted to do a different type of crib but they have slim pickings in the base game and so adding those bows I thought it was a really cute idea and then I just added like a dresser then obviously the bookcases on each side of the crib and a dollhouse and then one of those like um, things, the storage things that have the diapers and the blankets and stuff. I added one of those as well. And like a little thing of like blocks, some stuff for the little infant to do. I remember this uh, room being kind of difficult for me. I, it's, it's small, obviously. And I did not know just what to do where. I needed more 
wall decor than what we had. We don't have very many options. And I almost did this with the little like step down dresser. And then I did the one that's like stand up and tall just so I didn't have to worry about that wall space. And nothing was looking right. And so I ended up doing away with both of those ideas. And I pulled out this bigger dresser that has like a fabric piece on the top. And I thought it matched really good. And then I decided to just put some storage space up above the dresser and add some diapers and different baby care items and I think it turned out really good in the end and then that little butterfly toy of course that was like super cute and so and I needed something there and so I just ended up putting it there and now we are over into the teenage boys room so there are actually two teenagers that live at this house they are totally different though he does not like being a spellcaster whatsoever. He actually finds it to be almost embarrassing when he goes to school and people know that he's a spellcaster. He tries to keep it as big of a secret as possible, but his sister, of course, is very proud of it. And so it's really not too big of a secret. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he's really into guitar and he's really into sports and he just really wants to live like a normal sim life. He doesn't want to focus on spell casting or anything like that. He would like to get a nice career and the athletic career and then find the love of his life, maybe even his high school sweetheart and settle down, get married, have kids, you know, the whole the whole normal person dream. And now we are finally over into the last room. There's nothing special on this room whatsoever. It's just a nursery. It's just four, it's an extra room. You could even change this to whatever room you wanted. It doesn't have to be a room for a newborn baby. It could, you could turn it into an office or just another little spare bedroom or whatever you would like. Uh, but we are at the end of this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for my other occult series. I am not sure which one is going to be next for next week, but it will be next Friday, exactly a week from when you're seeing this video. And yeah, so if you made it this far in the video, then please leave a like. It really helps the algorithm push my videos to other simmers just like you and me. And also subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I hope you all have an amazing day or night wherever you are, an amazing weekend, and I will see you all in the next one very soon. Bye guys!